Hey friends, my name is E and you're watching E Makes It Easy. Welcome to a new video for IGCSE at Math and today we have rules and examples for circular measure and we'll start off with some basics for circular measure but before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos and we'll now look into some basics. So here's one thing to keep in mind. There are actually three calculators mode. There's a degree, radians, and gradient. And the one that we're going to use, uh, typically use for circular measure is radians. And it doesn't really matter if we do like basic operation like 3 plus 3, it'll still be 6. But what matters is that when you use trigonometric um, function, like sine 1 in a degree mode, degree is not the same as sine 1 in a radiant mode and we'll look into it later. And now we have some basics for radians. So a radian. One radian is the measure of the central angle whose arc length is the same as the radius of a circle. So basically this is arc length. This right here, this part. Anywhere around like the circumference is the arc length. And when the arc length is equal to the radius, like so, they both r, r, this is one radian. And one pi radian, or like pi radian, like pi, is equal to 180 degree. And 2 pi, oops, 2 pi, will be equal to 360 degree. And pi over 2 will be 90 degree, and so on. And now we have the difference between degree and radians. So to convert degree to radians, we, we like determine the degree. We multiply the degree by pi over 180 and simplify the degree with 180, like just simplify it. So let's say if you have 60 degree, if I want to convert this to radians, I times it by 60 pi over 180 and simplify this at 1, 3. That means it'll be pi over 3 radiant rad and it's the same and to convert from radians to degree you'll just flip what you have to what you have to multiply by so like basically determine the radian multiply the radian by 180 over pi and simplify the expression so let's say we have the um, the radian of pi over 3 you multiply by 180 over pi 180 over 3 pi 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 cancel out, this equals 60, therefore it's 60 degree. Right, so, and now we have some degree in radians and the uh, different like, circle. So there are some things to remember about. So 0 degree will be equal to 12 pi over 6 or basically 2 pi. Because 0 is the same as 360 degree if you turn a full circle around. And 0, 30. 60, 90, 120, and so on. And you don't have to memorize all these like, like conversion because you can just use a conversion from this part right here to easily convert from radians to degrees. And now we have some equations for circular measure. So we have some equations for the length of arc and chord, area of segment, triangle, and sector. And one thing to note is that they're all in radians. So put your calculator in the radian mode. So number one, we have the area of a sector. It will be area equals half r square theta, and r is a is a radius, and theta is the degree. Degree. And the area of a sector could be could be like rewritten as a equals half r s, and we'll look into it why. And the length of the chord, and this is basically like a chord, where you have like a segment, and a chord. This will be the chord. So the length of the chord will be 2r sine theta over 2. And the length of an arc, an arc is basically the curved part, an arc will be s equals r theta. And you can see how they relate. And you can basically substitute the r theta by s. And here's the area of a segment. It's half r squared theta minus sine theta. And the segment is basically, when you, have, when you draw a chord, this part here will be a segment. And the area of a triangle is just half r squared sine theta, or you can use that other method, like half a b sine c. But in this case, a b they're both the ra the radius, so it's just r squared. 
And now we have some examples for circular measure. And so the diagram here on the left shows the circle center O and the radius of HCM inscribed in the sector SPT of a circle at center P right here. So it's basically like a big triangle, uh, sorry, it's a big circle. And the straight lines SP and TP are tangents to the circle at point Q and point, P, point R respectively. Assuming pi is 3.142, calculate the length in CM of the arc ST. So remember the arc formula is S is basically arc equals R theta. We have theta right here. Now we have to find the arc length. Sorry, the arc, sorry, the radius. So we can't find this straight away, right? Because we don't have any measurements. But what we can do is that we can find this distance right here and plus this distance because we know this distance is the radius and it's 8 cm and we can just find this distance using trigonometry or like Pythagoras theorem sorry so basically you just split it in half and you can notice how it's a right angle triangle so it just translates to this here this will be 30 degree because remember how we split 60 degree in half so it'll be 30 degree and this will be 8 cm and we're trying to find this and the hypotenuse so using trigonometry we can use um, sine so katawas s sine 30 equals 8 cm over h and therefore the hypotenuse is 8 divided by sine theta and remember to put your calculator in degree mode 8 over sine theta to get um, 16 cm so the hypotenuse is 16 centimeter, and therefore it means the whole uh, whole radius of the whole circle, the bigger circle, or like PT or PS, it's R equals the hypotenuse plus the radius of the small circle, 16 plus 8 equals 24. And that's one thing to remind about. So now we have to convert the 60 degree into um, radiant. So let's just wrap this up here this up so 60 degree into radian remember how we convert from radian to degree we have to times by 180 uh, sorry pi over 180 so be 60 pi over 180 equals pi over 3 and therefore the length of the cm of the arc C, uh, st will be s equals r theta or 24 times pi over 3 assuming pi is 3.142 we can put into our calculator to get an answer of 25.14 cm. Like so, and number two, we have to calculate the area in cm squared of the shaded region right here. So, what we could do is that we could find the area of these two triangles and find the area of this section right here, and that will take away from the whole area right here. So, let's just do it step by step. And then just rub this and this part right here. So number one, this at least these two area right here. So we know that we have the um, the hypotenuse of fifty uh, of sixteen and eight. We have to find this length right here, which will be root sixteen square minus eight square. If you use hypot um, the hypotenuse like a square plus b square equals c square, and then we'll get us uh, x equals eight root three. So to find the area of these two triangles, you'll just do 2 times half AB, which is half 8 times 8 root 3. The 2 and the half cancel out each other to get 8 times 8 root 3, which is 64 root 3. Number 1. And let's just label this. This whole thing will be 20, oops, 24. So, and number two, we now have to find the area of this segment right here, this big segment. So we have to take in mind of the of the angle first in order to find using the area formula that we saw just now. So let me just wrap this up. Bottom, we know that six, uh, this forms um, this has four sides, and uh, at the total internal angle for a shape with four sides will be four minus 2 times three uh, times 180 so 4 minus 2 is 2 and 2 times 180 will be 360 degree that means the total internal angle here will be 360 degree and to find this angle right here it will be 360 degree 
minus 60 degrees from the bottom and minus 90 and 90 which we can see from these two parts here this and this so if you get it, uh, you get an answer it will be 120 degree and if you convert it to radian by times by pi over 180 we get 2 over 3 pi and it's 1 so now you have to this angle right here theta we have to find the opposite angle to find the opposite angle you can just do let me just rub this out you can just do 2 pi because 2 pi is 360 degree around the circle 2 pi minus 2 over 3 pi to get an answer of 4 over 3 pi like so so now we know that this circle right here let me just draw this this is 4 over 3 pi so we have to find that angle to, uh, that area too so remember from the area formula the area will be a equals rs or you can do a equals r squared theta or like r radius squared times the theta and we'll use that and now we'll combine everything together so the area equals the big area the whole sector is a equals half rs or half r squared theta and in this case we'll just use half r squared theta so if you half r squared the, 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 the radius of the big circle the big sector will be 24 squared theta is 60 degree which is 3 uh, which is pi over 3 radians minus multiple areas um, add together so it'll be a minus um, this uh, two triangles right here which will be uh, 64 root 3 which is really we we'll already like look at 64 root 3 plus the area of this segment right here this segment this segment which is half r square theta the r is 8 square theta is 4 over 3 pi like so and if you put it into your calculator you get a final answer of 56.7 centimeter square so don't forget the cm square cm square and that's the answer and lastly here's another example the diagram below on, on the right shows a semicircle ptq with center o and a quadrant of a circle at rst with center r using pi equals 3.142 Find the value of power uh, of theta in radians so we'll define this angle right here so what you do is that you can just find this oops you can just find this angle right here by using trigonometry and just minus by uh, pi minus that angle so let's just write it out here we know that this will be 90 degree so it's a pythagoras triangle 5 2.5 and theta so what we can use to solve theta is theta equals sine inverse or arc sine equals um so fine right so solving it get to let me just put into a calculator and remember this will be in radians and you get one over six pi and that's the angle of this small theta right here therefore the value of theta will be the um, 180 degree which is pi minus 1 over 6 pi to so pi over 1 over 6 pi which you will get 5 over 6 pi radian number one number two find the parameter in centimeter of the whole diagram let me just rub this out of the whole diagram so we can just easily find this um big set a big um big arc length right here which is s equals r theta where r is 5 times by theta 5 over 6 theta and then number two we have to find this arc length right here and we already have the, um, the radius of 2.5 centimeter so 2.5 centimeter times 90 degree and 90 degree is just pi over 2 pi over oops 2.5 times pi over 2 like so and now we have to find this area right here which is also 2.5 sorry this parameter which is also 2.5 because it's a radius of the small circle plus 2.5 and for OR we can use Pythagoras to find out not Pythagoras sorry the 
no sorry, it is Pythagoras. So 5, 2.5, we can find x by doing root of 5 squared minus 2.5 squared, which gets us 5 over 5 root 3 over 2 plus oops plus 5 root 3 over 2 plus by lastly this radius right here which is just 5 and if you type into your calculator everything you add it up it will be 28.85 centimeter because it's not an area it's a parameter and lastly the area in centimeter square of the shaded region. Just rub this out. Um, like so. So what we do is that we can just find this shaded region. We can just take um, we can just take we can just imagine that we double the size of the whole region. Like so, like this. And we can just remember there's a formula for this area here, this small little se uh, uh, section or like a segment or whatever. So the formula is basically A equals half r square times by theta minus sine theta like so and we can find this area by doing let's, let's just do it now area equals half 5 square times by theta the theta will be this angle right here which would be 1 over 6 times by 2 will be 2 over 6 or 1 over 3 pi minus sine of 1 over 3 pi as well this will get you an answer of, let me just type into my calculator, 1 over 2, oops, 1 over 2 times the, 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 um, the radius, which is 5 times 5 square times theta, 1 over 3, theta minus sine 1 over 3, theta, to get you an answer of, oops, 1 over 3, pi, we get an answer of 2.26 2.26 but don't forget you have to half this value because you have a double value and it's a whole thing and you just need to find this small part right here which is just half the value so divide that value by 2 to get an answer of 1.13 132 actually for this area right here so once we have this area right here, we have to find the area of this circle, this segment, minus the area of the small area. So we can just do here, the area will be, will be equal to 1 4 of, this, of, like the, of like the whole circle, pi r square, pi, so the radius is 2.5 square, and that will get you this segment right here, minus the small area right here, which is just minus 1.13. 2 and this will give you a final answer of 3.78 centimeters square and that's the final answer and that's it for this rules and examples video for IGCSE at Maths for today we look into circular measure and I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos and if you have any feedbacks or any like comments about my channel or my YouTube or my website, just drop that in the comment section and I'll reply to them. And don't forget to check out my social media in the description, for example, LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check it out in my website in the description. Or you can type it out in your browser at www.yemixeasy.com. And I hope you all find it useful and helpful. And I'll see you all in the next video, which will be questions for circular measure. But until then, stay safe and happy learning.